I've been watching crypto closely lately, and uh, if you're into it, you know that there's a lot going on with it. There's a lot in the news, uh, regulatory environment starting to get a little hairy, and uh, you know a lot of people have made money on a lot of different cryptos this year. I mean, it used to be Bitcoin is what I saw mostly, but now I'm seeing XRP, I'm seeing Ethereum, I'm seeing Dogecoin, and uh, there's no telling how much people are going to make on this. And uh, see a lot of people online talking about how much tax they're going to have to pay, et cetera, et cetera. And capital gains rates might be going up, but calculating the capital gain on crypto is more complicated than most people know and most people think. Um, there is guidance coming out. The IRS is looking at it. They are tracking a lot of these cryptos, and so it's not like it used to be even a couple of years ago. There are different ways of calculating the capital gain and the tax. Uh, there are ways where it's less and some ways where it's more. And you have to have that kind of knowledge to know how to mitigate your capital gain on it. But then also a lot of people don't know that you have options to defer that capital gain. There's various vehicles you can use to defer that capital gain. And uh, especially if we, you're thinking that capital gains rates might go up um, or if you don't need the cash, et cetera, et cetera, and you're fine sitting on it for a while. Uh, might be a good option to defer that capital gain in a different vehicle um, and then uh, potentially pay that capital gain at another time um, and invest it in the meantime and let it grow. So uh, a lot of people talking about capital gains in crypto right now. I totally understand why. Um, no telling what's going to happen here going forward the rest of the year, but I know that people have had a lot of gains from even 2020. But uh, there's not, to, you know, you're not in a situation where there's nothing you can do. You can definitely... Uh, use different ways of calculating that capital gain um, based on when you might have bought it and sold it and things like that. There's different ways of using kind of FIFO, LIFO concepts for the capital gain. And it uh, can make a big difference if you're dealing with a lot of crypto. And there's even opportunities to, like I said, defer it. So don't think that you're stuck. You have options, most likely. Um, and so just don't uh, uh, don't just think of one, uh, one way is the only way. There's plenty of ways to do it. Um, happy to talk to anybody if they need help with that or want to discuss what they might be owing in crypto capital gain. Have a good weekend.